Hello students, I welcome you to this lecture on numerical problems and solutions on ionic mobility, ionic velocity and transport number. The problem is calculate the ionic mobilities and ionic velocities of H plus and Cl minus ions having equivalent conductance at infinite dilutions of 349.8 into 10 to the power of minus 4 per ohm meter square per equivalence and 76.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 per ohm meter square per equivalence respectively. If these are measured using cell in which the electrodes are 5.0 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter apart and to which potential of 2 volt is applied. Now we have to look at the data what are given. The lambda naught of H plus is given that is 349.8 into 10 to the power of minus 4 per ohm meter square per equivalence. Lambda naught of Cl minus is given that is 76.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 per ohm meter square per equivalence and the distance between the electrode uh, for the cell is given that is 5.0 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and for which the potential applied is 2 volt. Now using these data you have to calculate ionic mobilities and ionic velocities of what H plus and Cl minus that is the important target now. Now how do you calculate ionic mobility? Ionic mobility can be calculated uh, using the equation lambda naught of the ion divided by 96,500 coulomb per equivalence or coulomb per mole that is 1 Faraday. So, ionic mobility of H plus can be calculated by lambda naught of H plus divided by F and ionic mobility of Cl minus is calculated by lambda naught of Cl minus divided by F that is 96,500 coulomb per equivalence. After the unit you are going to get is meter square per volt per second will be the unit, SI unit of the ionic mobility. And how do you calculate ionic velocities? Ionic velocity can be calculated by ionic mobility into potential gradient. Now, how do you obtain potential gradient by using these data? Potential gradient is potential applied across the uh, electrode that is potential divided by distance between the electrode gives you the potential gradient that the unit is volt per meter. So, uh, potential gradient and uh, using ionic mobility you can calculate the ionic velocity. Now, the step one is calculation of ionic mobilities first for the H plus ion. Uh, ionic mobility of the H plus ion can be calculated by using the relation already you know that lambda naught of H plus divided by F. So lambda naught of H plus is 349.8 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 96,500. And about the unit I am going to talk about, this unit is equivalent conductance unit is per ohm meter square per equivalence. And here in the denominator, this is coulomb per equivalence. Now, the final unit I am going to obtain is meter square per volt per second. How you are going to obtain this is, you can just look at here. In the denominator, there is a coulomb. Coulomb is equal to ampere into seconds. Where ampere can be written as volt per, uh, per ohm. So, you can get this unit as, in the numerator, what is the unit per ohm meter square per equivalence that you can write here, per ohm meter square per equivalence. In the denominator, there is a coulombs. Coulombs you can write it as ampere into second, where ampere is equal to volt by ohm. Volt by ohm into second per equivalence. This per equivalence, this per equivalence gets cancelled. Ohm and ohm gets cancelled. And in the denominator, volt second is remained. In the numerator, there is a meter square. So, the final unit is per volt per second meter square. So, meter square per volt per second is the unit SI unit for the ionic mobility and the answer is 36.25 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meter square per volt per second. This is the ionic mobility of the H plus. Similarly, you can calculate ionic mobility of the Cl minus. Uh, this is a lambda naught of Cl minus that is 76.3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 96,500. You will get 7.91 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meter square per volt per second. And step 2 is calculation of potential gradient. In the problem, potential is given that is 2 volt. Distance between the electrode is 5 centimeter. You are going to get 2 divided by 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. So, you will get 0.4 into 10 to the power of 2 volt per meter or 40 volt per meter. So, the SI unit of potential gradient is volt per meter. Students, so, from the step 1 you have ionic mobility of H plus and Cl minus ion and potential gradient for both ions is 40 volt per meter. So, you can calculate ionic velocities for H plus and Cl minus as 
ionic velocities can be calculated by using relation ionic mobility into potential gradient. The unit is meter per second. Now, the velocity of uh, H plus ion is equal to the ionic mobility of the H plus ion. What is ionic mobility of the H plus ion? 36.25 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meter square per volt per second into potential gradient that is 40 volt per meter. This 1 meter and per meter gets cancelled per volt and this volt gets cancelled and the remaining is meter per second. So, the answer is 1.45 into 10 to the power of minus 5. This is the velocity of the H plus ion and velocity of the chloride minus ion is 7.9 into 10 1 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meter square per volt per second is the ionic mobility of the Cl minus ion into potential gradient you will get 3.16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second now in this problem you have calculated ionic mobility from the step 1 potential gradient from the step 2 by using step 1 and step 2 you have calculated ionic velocities of H plus ion and Cl minus ion now, using these ionic velocities or ionic mobilities, you can calculate the transport number. How do you calculate in the second problem? The, calculate the transport number for H plus and Cl minus ions for which ionic velocities are given. 1.45 into 10 to the power of minus 5 meter per second and 3.16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second. Now, velocities are given for H plus and Cl minus ion. From this, you have to calculate the transport number. It means that there should be some relationship between the transport number and the velocities of these ions. What is transport number? Transport number is the fraction of the total current carried by the cation or the anion. So, the, uh, that fraction of the total current carried by the cation or anion is also corresponding to the fraction of the velocities carried by the cation or the anion. Therefore, the transport number of the H plus ion can be calculated by the velocity of the H plus ion divided by velocity of the H plus plus velocity of the Cl minus. This gives you the fraction of the velocities corresponding to the fraction of the total current carried by the H plus ion. Similarly, transport number of Cl minus ion can be calculated as velocity of the Cl minus ion divided by velocity of H plus plus velocity of the Cl minus. This gives you the fraction of the velocity is corresponding to the fraction of the total current carried by the Cl minus ion. Now, uh, by using velocity of H plus and velocity of Cl minus, you can calculate H, transport number of H plus as well as transport number of Cl minus by using these two relations. Now, transport number of H plus is equal to 1.45 into 10 to the power of minus 5 meter per second divided by velocity of H plus is 1.45 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus velocity of Cl minus is 3.16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second. This unit and this unit gets cancelled. The, uh, the total answer is 0 0.82. Therefore, transport number of H plus ion is equal to 0 0.8. And similarly, you can calculate transport number of chloride ion as 3.16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second divided by 1.45 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 3.16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second. These units are gets cancelled and the total answer is 0.18. Therefore, transport number of chloride ion is 0.18 and transport number of H plus is 0.82. Sum of these two should be equal to the 1. Now, this is the basic relation where the sum of any of the uh, any number of the transport number of ions in an electrolyte should be equal to the one. Now, the third problem is the transport number of cation of an electrolyte is 0.8. What is the transport number of anion? The transport number of cation is 0.8. Transport number of anion is how much? The relation is transport number of is equal to the T plus plus T minus. That is cation plus transport number of anion. Now, these two should be equal to 1. That is transport number of cation plus transport number of anion should be equal to 1. Therefore, cation is given, but what about the transport number of anion? Therefore, you can rearrange this equation. T minus is equal to 1 minus T plus. Therefore, T minus is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8 and transport number of anion is equal to 0.2. Now, uh, we have discussed the problems on ionic mobilities, ionic uh, velocities, potential gradient, and the relationship between ionic mobility or ionic velocities with respect to transport number and the basic equation of the transport number.
थैंक यू फॉर लर्निंग चीप लर्निंग बाय बाय